Bruce Willis stars in Eli Roth's remake of the 1974 classic Death Wish. We're rolling film right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Russell here at House Hollywood Reviews. If you guys haven't, go ahead, click that subscribe button, that little bell notification icon. You'll get notified the time I drop a new movie review, trailer review, anything new you guys will get notified, so go ahead and do that. Also, stick around to like and comment after the video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Death Wish. Death Wish is rated R with a runtime of an hour and 47 minutes. It stars Bruce Willis, Vincent D'Onofrio, Elizabeth Shue, and Camilla Marone, and it's directed by Eli Roth. For those of you that are familiar with the uh, 1974 Death Wish, this is a remake of it. Um, pretty much follows the same exact uh, uh, line as the original, just they've changed some stuff. Uh, we see Bruce Willis's character is Paul Kersey. He is a surgeon in Chicago. He's well-to-do doctor. He has a nice house, a beautiful family. Um, his daughter's getting ready to go to college. Uh, pretty much uh, what happens is a, a three guys end up breaking into his house and end up um, trying to rob them and ends up killing uh, Paul Kersey's wife, played by Elizabeth Shue. His daughter is in a coma. Uh, at the hospital that he works at and he actually has gone in to see them while he was at work and it was a pretty powerful moment there um, and then we see uh, pretty much he takes the law into his own hands he wants to find out who did this heinous crime to his family and wants to enact revenge pretty much the gist of the film just like the first one there are a little bit of differences like I said the first death wish took place in New York City this one Chicago in the original he was an architect this one he's a surgeon uh, both both of them uh, still have uh, him losing his wife and daughter still survives so overall uh, I appreciated the direction that Eli Roth took this movie Eli Roth is uh, known for hostile Hostel 2, uh, The Green Inferno. He's a big fan of the gore, so some of those scenes, uh, well, some of the scenes have a little bit of gore in it because he just loves gore for some unknown reason. Um, Overall, I gave this film three and a half out of five stars. I liked the original one has uh, has dated. You watch, I watched it in preparation for this film, and you could really see that it it is dated. Um, a lot of the things are kind of cheesy. Um, it needed a facelift a little bit, and I thought Eli Roth did a great job uh, facelifting this Death Wish to make it more modern. Um, a lot of people were on the uh, bandwagon of hating the film because they didn't they didn't like it. They think uh, Willis cashed in on the performance, but overall. When I went into the theater, I expected to be entertained with an action film. That's what I got. So I got what I bargained for. So overall, like I said, three and a half out of five stars. If you're in the mood for an action film or if you're familiar with the Death, uh, with the Death Wish fr franchise, uh, check it out. It's, it's a fun flick. It's a fun, mindless action film, and it's, it's just a fun time. But more importantly, have you guys seen Death Wish? Did you guys enjoy the original one with Charles Bronson, or did you like the new one with Bruce Willis? Go ahead and sound off there in the comments. Did you like the film with Bruce Willis in it? Go ahead and sound off in the comments. And join me next time at House Hollywood Reviews when I bring you the new Disney film, A Wrinkle in Time. And until then, we'll see you guys in Hollywood.